Good day everyone, so Jason here from Sunny State Pest Control and Termites and today I'm going to be talking about bed bugs. That's right, don't let the bed bugs bite. Um, the reason I'm making this video is there are a lot of people out there are getting the wrong information about bed bugs and um, not correctly identifying them. So I thought I'd put this video out there and give people a better idea. So I've been in the pest control industry for well over 20 years. I've dealt with plenty of bed bugs um, jobs in my time and I've eradicated them from plenty of homes. Um, you can go to my website and have a look there www.sunnystate.com.au and go onto the blog section. You can put in the search there, bed bugs, and it'll bring up all the blogs that I've done on bed bugs and you will also see this video there shortly after I finish it. I will try and make this as short and sweet as I can. Um, main reason I'm doing this is to help customers identify um, whether or not they have bed bugs and where to look. Now, firstly, let me explain. Bed bugs are the worst pest you can possibly have. They are the worst. They're worse than termites. I know termites damage your house, fair enough, but bed bugs, they get into everything. And I mean everything. They lay their little legs in the top of screw heads. Yeah, everything needs to be checked. So to me, bed bugs are the worst pest. Now, when we as a professional licensed pest control company are called out to do a bed bugs treatment, we have to follow a code of practice. Now, a lot of people don't understand this, but we do have to follow a code of practice um, in the eradication process to uh, get rid of the bed bugs. And it's very involved. Now, there is no such thing. Lots of people ask me, and when, they, when they're on the phone, they'll call me up and they'll say, hey, Jason, you, can you just come out quick and give it a quick spray? I've got bed bugs. And I'm like, hey, hang on. No, doesn't work like that. Bed bugs you cannot treat with just a quick spray. There is no such thing as a once-off treatment for bed bugs. Any pest controller telling you otherwise is lying, outright lying, and they don't know anything about bed bugs, I can assure you. Bed bugs treatments are ongoing treatments. It's continued inspections um, and working with the customer. So educating the customer, um, and building up a plan as to what to do between the pest controller and the customer to get rid of them. Um, it isn't all about just the pesty coming in there, mask on, overalls on, big spray canister and start blowing stuff everywhere. They don't work like that. Um, they, it needs continued follow-up calls and sometimes like if there's a bed bugs problem in um, say a bedroom which is the most common. I have done them where they've been in the bedroom and the lounge room, but let's just take the bedroom for instance. Um, they can take, you know, a month, five weeks to um, for us to get rid of them um, in, a, in a severe case. You know, it doesn't happen overnight. We, and when I say get rid of them, what I mean more is we are committed to it for, you know, however long, five, six, seven weeks. When we feel that they're gone after numerous inspections, um, then we'll give the all clear to say that they're being eradicated from that room. But it can take a time. Now, the last one I did, which was just a few weeks ago I finished it, it took me about four and a half weeks to fully be complete and say, yes, the bed bugs are gone. Um, so that's the sort of time frame you're looking at. A lot of people just want a quick fix. Come in, spray around, and you're done. It just doesn't work like that. I can assure you, you are wasting your money. If you're going to go down that track, don't waste your money on a pest control company. Go down the shop and just buy some canisters with the word bed bugs written on them and do it yourself, if that's the way you're going to go. Now, doing that won't get rid of them. Um, I'm pretty well sure it won't um, or you may find that you may get rid of them for a time but then a few weeks later or a few months later they'll come back they can lay dormant for well over 12 months uh, without a feed 
without a blood meal. Um, so some people think, yeah, great, I got rid of them, and then a few months down the track, they're back again and they can't understand why. It's because they harbour in such tiny places. Every single crack and crevice in a room has to be inspected and treated. And this is why a proper bed bugs treatment, a professional treatment, takes such a long time. The inspection process is very, very rigid and everything has to be checked. If you've got a bed with slats, for instance, the mattress obviously has to be inspected first, the mattress taken off, all the bed slats picked up, checked both sides, any little holes, screw holes, anything at all, where the, um, the, the bed frame joins to the posts, all gotta be checked in there. So there's a whole heap of things that have to be done behind light switches um, in drawers, wardrobes, skirting boards, carpet edges, you know, there's a whole heap of things that have to be done. Now, as I was saying earlier about the chap that I helped out a few weeks ago, he was what I would class as a number one A-grade customer. Um, he followed everything to the T that I told him to do, and with that, in, in conjunction with the um, with the treatment I did is how we eventually got rid of them. But he had a serious problem. They were in his lounge room and his bedroom, and it, it was a big, big job, a big process. And I was going back there um, to start with about every three days, and I would go back and recheck. I had to put little um, pads and things in the uh, lounge suite and around the bed. Um, where they can crawl over it and they stick to it, gives us an idea of um, uh, whether we're getting on top of the problem or not. So it, it's a two-way thing when it comes to bed bugs. It isn't just get the guy in, spray it. You have to work with the pest control company that you are going to choose to um, help you get rid of the problem. Um, so let's have a look at areas that you can now I've given you a, a brief overview of it, some areas that you can look at that will give you a good example of whether or not you have bed bugs. So the first thing is, um, and by the way, you can see my um, picture of the bed bug over my shoulder there. Um, that's what one looks like. And the reason why I'm leaving it on there is so that you can well and truly get into your head what they look like because people are getting it completely wrong and there's all sorts of stuff on the internet and a lot of it is wrong um, but that's what one looks like I can 100% guarantee you um, so let's have a look at what you need to look at firstly if you are getting bitten you will see more than likely a row of bite marks maybe three or four all in a row bed bugs like to test bite their um, host before indulging in a blood meal. So you will see a line of bites. Um, that is typical of bed bugs. Um, it's perfectly normal for, if there's two people sleeping in the bed, it's normal that only one will get bitten and the other one won't have a clue. Um, so that is normal as well. And the other telltale sign you've got bed bugs is on the sheets, there will be blood spots on the sheets from where they've bitten you. So uh, you will get sh um, blood spots there. And the other way is to do an inspection. Now you will see bed bugs. They're four to five mil long. They're a rusty, reddy, brownish sort of a color. And they've got a very oval sort of shaped body pinning down to their head. And their legs are at the more at the front of their body and they come down and run alongside um, the bulk part of their body. So exactly like the one you see in the picture there. Um, so if you peel back the bed sheets and you look around the pleat, that's the stitch line around the mattress, if you have bed bugs, I will 100% guarantee you they will be there in abundance. Yeah, they will be there in abundance. The eggs are like a little whitish sort of a, um, an egg and uh, they're glued, they're very stickily, um, the way they put them on, they're glued onto the, onto the surface and they'll generally be in those pleats and they huddle together, the bed bugs will all huddle together. 
Um, so you'll find them in the corners where you pull the pleat over a bit. They like to get in there out the way. And what they do is they basically like to be close to their host so that they can um, come out during the early hours of the uh, night and um, bite the host, have a feed and go back. Now bed bugs can only lay their eggs after a blood meal. So they need that constant feeding. Yeah, so um, they're the telltale signs. The other place you, places you can look is if you take the mattress off the bed and you check the frame. So if it's a wooden sort of frame with slats, pick the slats up, take them off, have a look, and you'll see them all plastered in underneath the slats in little holes, you'll see them. Um, if you've got an ensemble, you can obviously have a look around um, the outside of the ensemble and then turn it upside down and have a look at where the legs are screwed in. You'll see them all around where the legs are. Um, they get into everything. I can't emphasize this enough. They get into everything, which is why the treatments that we have to do are so intense. I tell every one of my customers, bed bugs are a serious problem if you get them. And if they aren't treated correctly, you just won't get rid of them. And that's all there is to it. You just will not get rid of them. Don't go down the track of trying to use a cheap pest control company that you think will um, eradicate them because they're saying, you know, 150 bucks, mate, no worries, and I'll come out and I'll spray them one treatment, they're gone. Nah, it doesn't work. I hate to tell you, I truly, truly wished that was the case, but it isn't. Now, when we go in to do a job, uh, first thing I'll do is an inspection. I have to get all kitted up, gloves on, um, face mask on, a torch, and I've got to go around and check everything. I have to be very careful that I'm not constantly rubbing up against furniture, against the bedsides um, and things, because I don't want them to come onto me, because then I can transport them to, to other places. My overalls and things when I'm finished a job, a, an inspection and an, initial, and an initial treatment, all of that has to come off. And if they're disposable overalls, then they get obviously disposed. If they're ones that I clean, then they get put into, um, into a black bag and um, then they're washed when I return. So it's quite a process. Um, it isn't just as simple as spray. The other thing during a uh, with a treatment, we have to encase your mattress in a proper bed bugs um, mattress protector um, now this isn't your standard one you buy down the shop where it just hooks over the side with a bit of elastic the whole mattress is put into like an envelope so the top the bottom the sides the backs is completely sealed and there's one zip around the end it's all zipped up and then it's got a piece of velcro there whatever that will um, seal it all and there's no seams on it at all there's no seams so they can't lay eggs anywhere they can't get into anything so that's a very important part of um, of a bed bugs treatment and they vary they're not that expensive they vary you can buy them online um, or you can buy them at um, pillow talk is where i get them from because um, i will buy them as i address a property so when I get there and I do my initial inspection I'll then say you know this is what we need to do we need to get these beds covered all the rest of it and then I'll go and, and get them and I'll just charge the customer whatever I get them for I think they're around about 45 between 45 and about a hundred dollars depending on what size uh, mattress you're going with so that's a very important part of eradicating bed bugs from your home um, and yeah that's pretty much it um, I can't emphasize enough that it isn't a quick fix it is an ongoing thing you need to work with your pest controller however you use whether you give me a call whether you call someone else you need to ask them some questions they need to be knowledgeable knowledgeable about uh, bed bugs and they need to have done some treatments before if they aren't following the certain um, protocol when it comes to doing a bed bugs treatment you're pretty much wasting your money cost wise I know everyone is going to say what's it cost to do a bed bugs treatment um, look they vary they vary they're anything 
from, you know, I've been up to a couple of thousand dollars to do a bed bugs treatment before. It will just depend on how severe a problem we have and how many rooms are affected and what needs to be done. Sometimes I've had it where I've had to, in, they've been confined to a bedroom and um, I've had to lock, the, it's what we call lock the bedroom down. So once the items that I'm happy with have been removed and they're um, not contaminated anymore, then the room needs to be locked down whilst we treat it. Okay, that would be in a very severe situation, but yeah, that sometimes um, needs to be done. So each problem eh, we can only assess when we get there. Um, a place where they're rampant are backpacking hostels. There aren't many backpacking hostels that don't have a bed bugs problem because the backpackers just hop around, <laughs> hostel to hostel, and they're taking them everywhere. So, you know, that is one way um, that bed bugs get transported around. So, if you've got backpackers coming over to stay, maybe, um, and they've been traveling around, you might want to have a think about where you're going to put them. <laughs> maybe in a tent in the back garden out the way or well and truly check their equipment you know well and truly check their bag and that certainly if I was having a backpacker coming and staying in my house I can assure you they would not walk into my house and just throw the bag down and start living I would have it checked I would personally check it myself and even then I would probably make them put the bag and their clothing into some bags, into some uh, black bin bags, and I'd leave them out in the sun for the day. That is another way you can start the process of eradicating bed bugs. You, all your clothing um, can be put into uh, black plastic bags and can be left out in the sun. They don't like the extreme heat, um, so that will kill them. It will dry them out uh, really quickly as well. And because we've got great weather here in Brizzy, um, you know, it's, that is an achievable thing. The other thing you can do, which the last customer I did the job for, a bed bugs job for, he washed everything, and I mean everything, everything in his house. He, wa he only had a one bedroom, one lounge room house. It was a little um, bed sit type thing. Um, but he washed everything, and I mean everything, every bit of, every one of his socks, undies, clothes, sheets, blankets, pillowcases, pillows, he washed the whole kit and caboodle and he then put them in the dryer. So he spent days doing that, days doing that. And then once you um, have got your clothes to a point where you go, okay, these are all washed, we know they've got no bed bugs in them, the best bet until the bed bugs are finished with and gone and you've had that assurance from your pest controller is keep those items away from the contaminated room so you don't put them back in. So many people wash them all. I've been out to many jobs and they've washed them all. And they said, hey, I've washed everything. So it should be good just for a spray and they've gone to put all their clothes and blankets back in the room again. And I'll say, you got to do it all again now. This room's still contaminated. So don't put the things back in that room until you've got the assurance from a licensed pest controller that you don't have bed bugs there again. Ah, so you're just going to have to do the whole process all over again. So I hope that has been helpful. I have tried to keep it as short and sweet as I can. It's pretty hard because bed bugs are quite a complex pest to deal with. If you do need any help, you want any phone support by email, whatever, don't hesitate, you can call me anytime. If I don't answer, you'll get my wife on the phone and um, she'll send me a text message and I will call you the minute I have some time and we can discuss about what your problems are and maybe how you can start to try and alleviate the problems um, before I get there. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, if you did, give us a thumbs up. Um, or you can leave a comment down in the comment section below and uh, don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs>